All right, some of you have had really good questions about how to cite for MLA considerations. Specifically, a few of you had questions about video. So I'm gonna show you how you can cite properly from a YouTube video. So the first thing you wanna do is use a reliable resource. The one I suggest is that you use Owl Purdue, which is a really good one. And it's the Purdue Online Writing Lab, if you haven't heard of it. Now, watch out because they have some weird kind of spammy stuff for some reason, which I don't really know why they started doing this, but don't ever click this start now. Anyway, you're gonna go down and exit out of all these little things that pop up and you wanna click on MLA Guide. Once you're on MLA Guide, it's gonna give you some overviews. This is over the eighth edition. They do have discussions for what's uh, updated in the ninth edition. Um, so you can look for those updates, but they're getting all that stuff wrapped up. But anyway, we're gonna go down to MLA formatting and style guide. And you're gonna be tempted to just type something in here. I wouldn't do that. That's like a different website. It's this citation machine. Um, if you wanna do like an MLA builder, I suggest use Oslis. But even with that, be careful that you are responsible still for double checking that your citations are correct. If they're not correct, then you might still lose points for that because it's your job to make sure they're accurate. Now, in the case of what we're looking for, for an example, is we're looking for a video. How do I cite a YouTube video? So I'm gonna go down over on the left and look through this list of general things to format. Now I could also read this and just kind of get a sense of what some general formatting things are. And I could even go down to MLA 9th edition changes and just kind of like, breeze through this if I want to, which is kind of interesting. It tells me kind of what's going on there. But what I'm gonna look for over on the left here is um, electronic sources because I wanna cite from a YouTube video. So I'm gonna click on electronic sources and then I'm gonna scroll down and kind of look for stuff. So here's some basic style for citations of electronic sources. It gives you the process to go through, but I think there's gonna be something more specific. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down. I'm gonna click off of these ads and keep scrolling down and keep looking for what I want. I don't want an email. I don't want a listserv. I, I might want to tweet one day. Hmm, interesting. Ah, here we go, a YouTube video. And it gives you a nice little introduction here. Um, so some of the key things that it differentiates are the difference between an author and an uploader um, because those could be two different things. So here you see that we have um, the author here. Um, the video is called Gaming and Productivity. It's published on YouTube, that's the container. When we talk about MLA, that's the container. And then it's uploaded by someone other than McGonagall here. So Big Think is the website. The date it was uploaded, and then where your permalink is to that video. Same with this one below, except we don't have the specific author's name, and that can happen. We might not know their actual name for the YouTuber, and so we just have this title, we have the container again, and then we have who the group is that uploaded it. Um, we have the date, and then we have the YouTube permalink, so I can click on that and look at it. That's it. Um, Oslis, excuse me, <laughs> Oslis. Um, Purdue Online Writing Lab is a really nice source for kind of finding anything you need to find when it comes to MLA, but you do have to look through it a little bit, right? You can try to search for stuff. I've had less luck doing that. Typically what I'll do is just go to this and kind of start scrolling through these different elements, and those will be really helpful for you. Again, just to reiterate, if you use any kind of online citation maker, just make sure it does it correctly because you're responsible for making sure it's an accurate citation. Because when I grade it, those need to be correct, correctly formatted and all that kind of stuff.